Data center breaches are becoming a thing of the past because attacks have become easier to plan with credentials. I've been planning it all week. If you have the keys to the door, no need to break down the door. For example, the best thief would be the maintenance man because he already has the keys. Say that again, I don't think I heard you, sir. Once you get compromised to help remediate the attack, you want to bring in everyone. With a simple cell phone, you can find credentials, session IDs, and etc. With sites like Genesis Market, Pastebin, or Dhash, you don't even have to surf the dark web or dark net to find credentials. What are you talking about, Willis? I'm talking about stopping identity attacks with identity threat detection. Identity is the new perimeter. You don't have to be a James Bond supervillain to hack these days. People make the best exploits. And once you get your foot in the door, you can't use old school methods to prevent the spread of lateral movements in your environment. In Cisco's Dynamic Duo, there's a feature called Identity Intelligence. Cisco's Identity Intelligence has the capability to merge identity providers, HR systems, and applications together. Oh my God! Attackers get credentials, session cookies, and etc. from places like Exodus, Abacus Market, or We the North and utilize MFA to self-enroll or bypass MFA. And if you are a do-it-yourself guy, you can use tools such as Evil Gen X to do it yourself. I get that point. You get the point? I get the point, okay. I get a question. You want to know the Big Mac secret sauce. If you take Duo, Microsoft, Okta, Slack, GitHub, AWS, Google Workspace, Workday, Salesforce, and even manually upload identity sources, and then we will map those to HR databases and application usage cross-referenced with threat feeds. The fun begins with monitoring and hardening of accounts with the ability to take some sort of action. How's that? That's all good, 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 good. Bro, what are you talking about, man? The dashboard provides quick hits of identities collected and their status. Now let's look at login attempts from different countries. Now let's focus on Russia. Now, we have no idea who this guy is. I met a guy on Craigslist. What? With a click of a button, you can get a 360 degree view of all the contextual information for a particular user across multiple sources. In this view, you get a quick summary of the user. Oh. The activity tab shows a detailed view of all activities across all sources associated with a given identity. The network tab provides context on IP addresses associated with each user, the location, hit counts, and users associated with the same IP address. The device tab provides context on a user or person impersonating the user. With the application tab, I can see the table of applications assigned to a given user and the device that it originates from. Bruh. The check tabs gives you a detailed view of all the user's current check failures and observations and the particular reason why that user failed that check. Saving the best for last, you have the actions tab, which is self-explanatory. Now let's pivot to the main dashboard and go to the users tab. I have a default view of all active accounts. From here, I wanna scroll down and see what accounts don't have MFA configured. From here, I get a detailed view of the contextual information from a user's login. Add that up and you get... Damn! Now let's go to failing checks and look for compromised sessions. An adversary may steal web applications or service session cookies and use them to gain access to web applications or internet services as an authenticated user without needing credentials. Clicking on the user takes me back to the 360 view. Once again, I get a summary of the user and the failing check. The activity flow gives me a detailed view of all activities across all sources associated with a given identity of a particular time. I can navigate and see more detailed information for this session hijack. Now let's go back to the user and look for active accounts that are under heavy attacks. Keep in mind, I can customize failing checks. However, we already have one that's pre-canned. There it is. 
Clicking on the user takes me back to the 360 view. From this view, I can dive deep into the IOCs or observables that created this particular incident. Now let's go back to the user menu and I'm going to show you how easy it is to look for password spray attacks. Guys, be patient. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. Go on. Instead of failing checks, now we're going to go to IP threats and navigate to the users that were under a password spray attack. Once identifying the users, it will take you to the 360 view to do a deep analysis of user activity devices, application, and networks associated with their attacks and provide you the capability to take some sort of action. This house is clear. If you would like an identity security assessment, reach out to your Cisco account team.